Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. My name is Chris Buckley. I'm the president of the Ontario Federation of Labour. I've been representing workers for 30 years of my life, and I can tell you, this is the first time I've used one of these contraptions. So uh, <laughs> every day is a new beginning of the labour movement. All kidding aside, folks, I am here to tell you that you have the full support of the OFL, 54 unions and a million members across the province. I want to thank OPSU. I want to thank the members, the 12,000 members of OPSU across the province who have drawn a line in the sand to end the growth of precarious work for far too long across this province. Let's face it, in the last decade in Ontario, we have lost in excess of 700,000 good paying full-time permanent jobs. 700,000. And the shame about that is precarious employment, contract jobs, temporary hire agencies have become the norm in Ontario. And you heard Sarah a minute ago talking about respect in the workplace. It's a crying shame in 2017 that unions have to bargain for respect for their members and workplace in Ontario. Respect should come naturally. It shouldn't have to be part of a collective agreement. I want to commend all of you here today and those that aren't and the 12,000 OPSU members across Ontario for drawing a line in the sand, but most importantly, standing up for your rights and telling your employer and sending a strong message to your Ontario government that you've had enough of uncertain jobs. You've had enough of the uncertainty in your life. You've had enough of having to reapply for your jobs every four months or six months or 12 months. 12,000 OPSU members, and I have learned in the last couple of weeks, in excess of 70% of those members have to continually reapply for their job on a regular basis. That is no way no way for any worker in Ontario to have to live. How can you plan your lives? How can you make plans for your future? How can you think about buying a home or any major purchases not knowing if you're gonna have a job to pay for those things when your contract expires? That is not the Ontario we want, sisters and brothers. We know over the last two years, the government has entered into an exercise in regards to finally addressing the outdated employment standards and labour law in the province of Ontario. We know that we have a once in a generation opportunity to make positive change. OPSU has played a huge role in our campaign at the Fed. We call it Make It Fair. Make it fair for every worker across the province, whether they belong to a union or not. Obviously, we want every worker to have the right to join a union. So now Bill 148 has passed second reading. Within that bill, one of our top priorities is to end insecure work, end precarious work, end contract work. Every worker should have a bright future and a permanent job in their workplace. And I hope the government's listening. I hope the government understands that when I was elected as president of the Fed, and I'm honored, I've been elected for over 30 years now, folks, my promise to the delegates at the convention two years ago was to unite our labor movement across the province. Because we know we are stronger when we're together, regardless of which union we belong to. And I want to thank OPSU for being the first union to reaffiliate to the Ontario Federation of Labor because they get it. They know we're stronger when we're together. Folks, I want to thank you because you're educators. You chose your profession. You care about the jobs you do. You're help educating and shaping the minds of young people every day. Besides their parents, these are the most important people they see every day because you're helping to shape them. You're helping to mold them. You're helping to guide them on the right path so they have a decent life ahead of them. When you draw a line in the sand on precarious jobs, uncertain jobs, you're sending a message to the next generation that you're doing everything you can to make life better for them when they go out in the workforce. So thank you for that.
The statistics show in 2016 in the province of Ontario, over 460,000 young people graduated to the part-time workforce. Out of those 460,000, 70,000 young people are forced to work in multiple part-time jobs just to make ends meet. That's not the Ontario we want, system, brothers. That's not the type of future that we want for our young people. It's not the type of life we want for workers today. So I'm going to press the government as hard as I can to make improvements under Bill 148 with OPSU's help and every union that belongs to the Federation of Labor. You folks are sending a strong message. But I've got a message for your employer as the president of the Ontario Federation of Labor. And the message has a number of items in it. The first one is get back to the bargaining table and bargain a fair settlement. And my next message is to the employer and to every employer across the province of Ontario, to the government of Ontario, do not test the solidarity and unity and determination of the labour movement in the province of Ontario. We're not looking for a fight system, brothers. We're looking for a settlement. But I can tell you one thing, when I look around the crowd today, and I look around unions across the province, whether it's an employer or whether it's government, if they want to fight, Labour's up for a fight in the province of Ontario because this is our Ontario. It's not any employer's Ontario. It's not the government's Ontario. It's workers' Ontario. Labour built this great province. Labour built this country. And we are going to take it back. And we are going to make this the Ontario we want and deserve, not only for today's workers, but for future generations to come. On behalf of the Federation, I stand with you. On behalf of the OFL, I support you, and I'll be with you all the way through this process so you get a fair and decent contract, and we help turn this into the Ontario we want. Solidarity system, brothers. Keep up the fight. Keep up your faith in your union, because your union's going to get the job done.